Welcome to the Bleepin' Truth, everybody. Another uh, fabulous day in the land of the Bleepin' Truth. I want to thank my three guests. Larry Keffer has been on before. Larry is a uh, preacher who, you travel the country or the world? Or? The country. He travels the country <coughs> and uh, he preaches the Word of God. He has his Bible with him. And we have uh, Bert Lithicum, our Constitution Party candidate, as well as uh, Mark Nash, who is a consumer or a human rights advocate. How would you want to be labeled? <laughs> Community activists. Community activists. I'm sorry, Mark. So we're here today to talk about a very controversial uh, topic, gay rights. And uh, this comes up all the time during elections. But this is really, we're not here to talk about it on an election perspective, but we're here to discuss the different uh, viewpoints that people have when it comes to gay rights. And I, I want to start off with uh, eHarmony. eHarmony is a dating service. Uh, it's offered up to, uh, I guess, straight people. Recently, uh, eHarmony denied um, uh, gay people access to their service. Mark, I, I'd like to open it up to you. Uh, what's your take on that? Does eHarmony have to do that? Well, I guess there was a, uh, uh, a case brought out, on, I think on the West Coast, that uh, a young lady wanted to try to find a, a partner of the same sex. And mm -hmm. I think uh, the guy who runs eHarmony, e e e Neil something or another, Patrick something or another, is uh, you know connected to the ev evangelical uh, Okay, um, the evangelical uh, 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 community, and um, you know it's his business. Um, I, I, you know there are LGBT uh, dating sites. Well, explain what, what that is for someone who has no. Yeah, clue what lesbian, that means. gay, bisexual, transgender. There are other, you know. Uh, uh, and they're outlets. exclusive to lesbian, gay, trans. You know. I guess so. I'm, a, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming straight people aren't allowed in there. Well, you know, I'm sure there are straight people that are on there, Chris. Um, oh, but people, if they're in there, would they be straight? I'm sure there are people that, 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 that in their public lives identify as right. being straight, but uh, in their private sure, lives... Sure, they're, they're uh, doing other yeah, things. They're touching tingly parts of another kind. Yes, that would be correct. So now, do you think that he has the right, because he says that they don't know, they've never done the research of compa compatibility for gays and lesbians. <laughs> That's what he said, you know, they don't know how to match compatibility to be out of harmony. Is that... Is that a valid, um, you know, concern that they can do you know, that? You know, I, I, the the gay community hasn't. I haven't heard one iota about it. I don't think it's that that big of a deal. It, it, that that really. So you're saying the press makes that a bigger deal than this? Well, you know, it's one person that brought the case against this organization, and it's just another example of the very slight, in some cases, to to uh, uh, supersized uh, uh, scenarios where there's you know a little brush of discrimination. I. You know, people can interpret that how they want to. So I you, you view that as discrimination or, um, well, you or know, is that more of a business practice? Or, a, mi or a missed business opportunity, perhaps. You know, uh, gays and lesbians want to meet the same way um, that the, the uh, straight community does. You so know. you're saying there's no difference in compatibility, the same rules apply? You know what? I know what my needs are in terms of compatibility. You know, uh, I, everybody's needs in terms of personal relationships are unique and different to themselves. Sure. Um, his his audience is the audience he's going for. He's trying to, you know, keep the the, the, the straight community. Um, you know, there's a 50% divorce rate. You know, you tell me how successful the, the, all of that is. So, so uh, Bert, I'm going to let you handle this topic. Uh, what is your take on eHarmony? Uh, not allowing uh, same-sex relationships on their service. It's called freedom of conscience, Chris. Well, explain uh, this, what that is. This is a private business. They can decide what they want to do, for whom, at what rates. It's a matter of freedom here in the United States. Government has no place intervening in business relationships or personal relationships unless force or fraud or injury is involved. Now, by having a, a homosexual file litigation lawsuit against this company that's uh, really going beyond what government is designed to do uh, so you're saying government should not step in in this matter in any way businesses and people should have the freedom of conscience freedom of speech to think and do as they in their own moral conscience believe is right uh, for example I'll bet Sodom.com doesn't allow normal or heterosexual couples to advertise on their website. Right. Larry, Larry what, what's your take on this issue? Oh, the sodomites. See, they, they have their private sodomite websites, right? but they want to infiltrate the heterosexual. I mean, I don't know any heterosexual that would be looking for a partner would go to a sodomite website. 
So why would a sodomite want to go to a heterosexual website? It doesn't make sense. So what you're saying is, is basically they, they wanted to cause a problem with the harmony where there was none. Yeah, they just they, to, they to want point to out, look, we want to be part of this. It's the culture war is what it is. Uh, Mark, I see you, you know, uh, I see some facial expressions. Honestly, I think it's much ado about nothing. It's a private business. I think you can tailor your business to whom you want to go after. Um, you well, know, when you say much ado about nothing, obviously someone's making a big deal out of it um, to point it out, and it is in the press. So it, it is, you know, something. You I know. think it's, a, it's another opportunity to have a conversation about how there are some angles um, in society that are not inclusive to everybody. And... Um, I, um, again, I don't see the big deal. I mean, you know, you, whether you use a website, whether you so go you out do, to meet people. So let me people. ask you this, because I, I want to understand the point of view you're coming from, and I want people to understand. So you, when you see this policy, you almost see it as if they said, we don't allow blacks to date on this service because we haven't done the research into that. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, you know. Would you liken that the same way as far as uh, not allowing gays on the, on the service? You know, you don't choose your race, you don't choose your orientation, you don't right, choose so your gender. That's what I'm so saying. His position is sound. Yeah. Uh, so what would, you, business, what would you make of that, though? What, if I'd like to know that his position on whether the lawsuit is appropriate and it, whether the it, federal it, it, courts, yeah. I presume they're using federal courts yeah. rather it, than state it courts. It probably will not have much merit. I mean, again, yeah. I, I just think it's, it's much ado about nothing. Um, it's unfortunate. I, I think some in the gay and lesbian community, you know, might be looking for a fight, so to speak. But I right. think that's a wasted. I think it's a wasted amount of energy. Um, I th again, I think it's a young lady that, that, that pursued the, the lawsuit, and I think she should, you know, try to meet somebody another way. There are yeah. other options. Well, for those I that can't don't argue know, that. That's can't, sound. yeah. For those that don't, don't know, Mark also has a show of his own called The Buzz here at the station. Now you had um, Steve Stanton, now Susan Stanton on. Correct. Larry, you're familiar with who that is, I'm assuming, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. All right. I, I want to direct well, this. You interviewed that the person. The adoring media has made sure that all of us are keenly aware of it by running that as the cover story in the St. Pete Times on Mother's Day. Again, part of the culture war. Well, well hold on, Bert. You obviously have an opinion on uh, Susan Stanton. I was going to go to Larry, but what's your opinion on Susan, the whole situation there? Steve Stanton, you mean? Well, it's Susan, isn't it? Well, I, it is, I, in, the eyes, in, the eyes of the, in the eyes of the law, it is Susan Stanton. That is her No, but legal what name. I'm saying is what is your take on the fact that Largo, uh, the county commissioner at Largo, felt that Steve changing to Susan was not, well, they said the job performance, but we know it was because Steve changed to Susan. They figured it wasn't appropriate for Susan to run uh, as a, was a city manager anymore? Correct, correct. Well, the city is certainly within its rights to appoint what elect whatever person they want. That was an, was that an elected position? Um, That's no, appointed no. by the yeah. city commission. No, it's you know you you, you apply. He's appointed. Okay. You apply right. for the job like like most yeah, but, people but, apply uh, for a job. Steve had it for how many years? Seventeen, fourteen years as city manager. Fourteen years. And they had just given Steve a raise. So isn't there a We're not going to terminate Steve. <coughs> they terminated Susan. Okay. This is there a difference, be, though? Isn't this that the same person? an embarrassment, some, some a body humiliation to the city, the city commission, and the people of Largo every time this individual interacted with any group, any other governmental agency, uh, any business. Well, are you saying that Susan would run her affairs differently <laughs> than Steve, business-wise, for the city? <laughs> Well, it's a moral issue. Yeah, all right, so it's, give it's us the moral, moral issue. Give us your take issue. on the it moral issue. It shows that the city still has a moral base, and, and that's really what it boils down to. It, it's either right or it's wrong, right? And the Bible, I go by the Bible, that's my authority. Right. God has, is very specific. I mean, the Old Testament says if you commit sodomy, you should be stoned. In the New Testament, he gives you over to a reprobate mind well, and give, give us a description of sodomy to you uh, from, no, seriously, <laughs> well, I have to break it Lying down. with mankind as with womankind. It's in Leviticus 18.22. Any man that shall lie with another man as if with a woman. Okay, all right. So I understand that. Okay. But what I'm saying, I'm confused because where does Steve it's a sexual student's thing. stand come into play? Well, she's basically promoting her sin. Which and is, what is the sin? That's what I'm asking. Well, the sin is being effeminate. Um, being but, but Steve was married. Okay. Right, so th there is no... Actually, Steve still, Susan still is married. Okay.